scholars, it's Mrs. Justnika, and we're back for another Draw With Me Challenge. This week, we're gonna be drawing a Roblox Adopt Me Dog. What you'll need for this project is a paper, a pencil, and something to color with, like markers, crayons, or colored pencils. All right, let's go back to the art room. All right, kindergarten through second grade, we are gonna be drawing a puppy together. This puppy is actually from a game called Roblox, which some of you might actually play. So we are going to begin by making sure that our paper is in the correct position. We are going to use the paper long ways. Um, this puppy could actually also be drawn like this, but I like having my paper horizontal, so I'm gonna do it like this. All right, now we're gonna find the center of the paper. So right around here, this is the center of the paper. It's going to have the head above the center of the paper and then its body is gonna be down here. So we're going to start with the shape of a circle for the head. And let's see, I'm going to, maybe I'll make it an oval actually. So I think I might make it an oval, but if you wanna make the shape a circle, that's perfectly fine. So from the top, I'm just gonna go down, make this shape here. Actually, it is going to be a circle, I guess, cause <laughs> it kinda looks like a circle. There we go. Now remember, I am using a Sharpie. You should be using a pencil if you can. That way you can erase. So here is my head. Um, I chose to end up making it a circle after all. And now I'm going to make the body. So the body is also going to be a circle shape. We are going to be making kind of a shape that's a similar size or a little bit smaller. All right, just wanted to see if my marker was going through the paper. All right, so let's see. You know what? This time I'm gonna make an oval. I'm going to draw the shape right around here. So I'm gonna go like this. So now it looks like these two shapes are sitting on top of each other. So I have a circle up here and I ended up making an oval down here. You don't have to make an oval, it could just be another circle. Um, the head is a little bit bigger than the body. They can be the same size for you. All right, now let's work on the face to make this look like a puppy. I'm gonna go back up to this circle up here and I'm gonna start with the eyes. So the puppy has huge circle eyes. I'm gonna be making one huge circle over here and one huge circle over here. There we go. So now I have two circles. Let me make sure they look okay. Eh, they look all right to me. And now I'm going to make what looks like a frowny face, but it's actually just gonna be the crease above the dog's nose. So from here to here, I'm gonna make a little crease. I'm gonna turn my paper to do this, but what you're doing is what looks like a frowny face connecting the two eyes. So I'm gonna turn my paper and I'm going to make this curved line like this. So here's what it looks like. So it looks a little bit like a sad face between the eyes, but it's not. It's just a crease that's gonna go over the dog or the puppy's nose. Now I'm going to make the nose of the puppy. So this shape could be an oval for you. I'm gonna make mine an oval, but if you would prefer a circle, that's fine. I'm gonna make a little puppy nose. It's a little bit longer than the eyes and it's under this frowny face. So this crease is the puppy's um, nose crease and then here is his actual nose. Now the puppy on Roblox has its tongue sticking out. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do another little frowny face here and we're gonna turn this into um, a puppy tongue. So right under the nose, so here's the nose. So we're gonna do it right down here. We're gonna make a little frowny face. 
He's not sad. That's just where his tongue is going to be. And then we're going to make a U shape. So from here to here, we're going to make the shape of a U. So I'm going to do this real slow. There we go. And now this is going to be his little tongue. We can even put a line here if you want to make it look like a creased tongue. All right, now let's keep going. We gotta make the puppy ears or it's not going to be a puppy, right? So we're gonna make one ear over here and one ear over here. Now this could be a tricky shape. We're gonna be making a um, line that goes down and diagonal and then it's gonna come back in to connect. So it's gonna go like this and then back up. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna go out and then back in and I'll show you. So I'm gonna start on this side and from up here, I'm just gonna go down like this. So I'm gonna wait. I did this on the side of the head and all I did was a line going out. You can see it's going diagonally. That means it's going that way, not this way and not straight down. So it's a little bit slanted. And now I'm gonna make a bump here. So it's going to look like a curved line. And then it's going to come back in like that. And that is one puppy ear. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go from right around here. We want to make it around the same spot. We're going to go out at an angle. And now we're going to curve back in. So from here... We're just gonna go like that. And those are our two puppy ears. All right, now I'm gonna make a puppy tail. I'm gonna make my tail over here on this side. So the way that we're gonna make this tail is we're gonna make a curved line going up like this. So you can see that kind of looks like a little happy face. So if you turn your paper like that. And we're gonna make that same line going back down. Okay, so we're making another curved line to connect to here, back to here. So I'm gonna go back in like that. Now, if this shape is too difficult for you, that's okay. You can make a triangle for his tail instead or a V shape, and that's perfectly fine. All right, now we're gonna be making his feet. Now, this is a little bit weird because if you haven't played Roblox, you're not going to understand why his feet look like this, but the Roblox characters have little feet that look like upside down U's. So I don't have a lot of space down here. Um, see, I have more space up here, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an upside down U shape here. I don't want to put it too close to the bottom. So I'm going to just, it doesn't have to connect to the body. We're just going to make a U shape like this. And then we're going to close it by going from here to there. Okay, so right now all we have is an upside down U. That's actually one of his feet. And now I closed it. Okay, so in this game where this puppy is from, their feet look like this. And they're not connected to the body. Now, if you don't really like that too much, that's okay. You can make his feet look like an ups or a normal U instead, like this, instead of doing these Roblox feet. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, as long as you're drawing a puppy with us. So I'm going to erase this, because again, I'm drawing a different puppy. There we go. And I'm going to do the next foot over here. So again, I'm going to do an upside down U, like so. And now I'm going to connect it. Like that. So those are his two front feet. Now if you really want to challenge and you want to do his back feet, we can do another foot coming from over here like it's in the background. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, okay? So what I'm going to do is right over here, you see how there's this is an oval shape, so there's a little more space over here. If yours doesn't have that, that's okay. You could put the other foot over here. I am going to put a smaller upside down U, like this. And now I'm going to close it off. 
So that looks like that's a foot in the back. And then maybe I'll do another one right here if I wanted to. But I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to keep three feet and pretend there's a foot back here that we can't see. Now we're going to add some final details. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but you know Mr. Sneaka likes to add eye shines in the eyes. So I'm going to add a circle over here and a circle over here and then two more smaller circles to make the eyes look shiny. And since the nose is going to be black, I'm actually going to put another shiny little oval here so that I leave that white and then we can color his nose black. And in fact, just so you can see what that looks like, I'm going to go ahead and color it in right now. And that'll give you guys time to fix any mistakes that you need to fix before we start coloring. So here is what the little shiny eyes look like. You can see that I leave the circles white so that the eyes look like they have a lot of light hitting them. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the nose. So now the nose looks shiny too. See? All right. So now we're going to draw um, a horizon line because I realized that I usually have been forgetting to do the horizon line and it's super important. That shows where the ground is and it separates it from the sky. So what we're going to do is right at the end of the paper, so on this side, we're just gonna make a line that goes up to the puppy, then goes through the puppy without us doing the line, and then it's gonna go all the way to the end of the paper. This line does not have to be straight if you don't want it to be. It can be curved. I'm gonna make mine straight. So to do that, I'm just gonna go like this. When I get to the puppy, I stop. I go through the puppy without making the line. And then I come out over here and I keep drawing my line. There we go. So now the puppy has a floor and then this will be either the sky or the house or whatever. All right, let's go ahead and get this colored in.
scholars here is my finished puppy as you can see I colored everything but I left these little spots over here white to make it look like he's shiny you don't have to do this especially because puppies are not really shiny but I wanted it to look like a character from a video game just like where this puppy is from all right now I want to see what you guys were working on and we're gonna be moving on to third through sixth grade All right, third through sixth grade, we are going to be drawing a Roblox Adopt Me puppy together. So first of all, make sure that your paper is horizontal. That means it's going long ways like this, not like this. Once you have your paper in the correct position, we are going to begin by drawing the um, eyes so this is actually gonna be a little bit different from what we normally do because we normally draw the head so this puppy is going to be facing sideways so we want to leave a little bit of space for the body and then draw the head and eyes more on this side okay so we're gonna be drawing the head and eyes over here and then the body's gonna be going this way so let's go ahead and begin we want to draw the pair of eyes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that the head is going to be right around here. And I'm going to draw one eye first, like so. So a little circle. And then since he's facing that way, I'm actually going to make this eye over here look like an oval. Now you're probably like, Mr. Sneaka, it's going to look crazy if one eye is a circle and the other eye is an oval. But we're going to make it look like the puppy is facing sideways. So it's actually going to look like that eye is like more in the background. You'll see what I mean. So over here, we're making an oval instead. So this eye is a circle. This, side is, uh, this eye is an oval but they should still be about the same height. So the two eyes should be around the same height, meaning that they end in the same place. That means here, and then they start in the same place. All right, now we're gonna do the little circles inside the eyes. These are the shines. So I'm just gonna put a little shine here and a little shine here. Now, of course, if you want to, you could do another little shine, but you don't have to. And now we're gonna do the shape of the head. So the reason why we did the eyes first is because the shape of the head is a little bit weird. We're gonna be doing, starting from this eye over here, a circle or like a half circle shape. So it's just gonna go like this and then back down. And we wouldn't be able to do that if the eye wasn't there. So from this eye, so right over here in the middle of the eye, we're going to make an arch going like this. So from here all the way down until you pass the eye. So I have a lot of space over here that's on purpose because again, like we said, this puppy is actually facing a little bit that way. So we're going to have a lot of head space on this side and then his eyes are more to the left okay so you can see that this eye actually looks like it's in the middle and then this is on the side and then here's the other side and we have to add um the ear of the puppy on this side but we'll do that later all right so now we have this arch we're gonna put another arch under the eyes it's not gonna it, it's not really gonna be as much as this it's gonna look more like um just a curved line. So before I do that, actually, let's make the nose. So the nose is gonna be right under this eye here. And we're just gonna either make an oval if that's easier for you, or you can make kind of a curved line up here. And then it gets a little bit smaller as it goes down. So it looks kind of like um, an arch and then a curved line on top. But again, if that's too difficult for you, you can just make it look like an oval. And that's fine. Now from this nose, we're going to make that curved line I told you about. That's going to be the nose crease. The way we're going to do that is from right here, so right at the edge, we're just going to make a curved line. It's curving down a little, kind of like a frowny face. 
but it's not that curved that it's super obvious. So you can see it's just a little bit curved. And actually, I think I'm going to make it a little more curved. So you can see when I erase, it is very obvious my line is still there, and that's okay. There we go. So that's a little more curved looking. And I can still see my eraser marks, but really it's not a big deal. Because when I start outlining, I can fix any mistakes that I had. All right, let's keep going. Now we need the lower part of the head. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do this side first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a parentheses line from the nose, just down. Like so. There's my parentheses. And now what I want to do is connect here to here with a huge line that's curved like a huge parentheses. <laughs> so let's do this slowly because I know that's actually a lot. We are going to start from here and we're just going to keep curving like we're trying to make a circle. I'm sorry I'm left handed so my hand covers the paper a little bit. And now, oh, there's all kinds of smudges from my hand. It's so annoying. And now we're gonna keep going, connecting this part to this part. Now we have to add a tongue here, but we'll do that after, and we'll just erase the line. But let's not worry about that right now. I'm gonna keep going until I reach here. So here is what the puppy's face looks like so far. Now we still need the ears, and we need the tongue, because that's part of the Adopt Me puppy from Roblox, or the Adopt Me dog. Um, let's go ahead and add a couple of little details. So I'm just going to put a little line right here and a little line right here. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. It just looks like, um, a little fold over the eyes. Now we're going to make the ears. So f I'm going to do this ear first because this one's harder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a parentheses where the top of the ear is going to start. So ears are usually you know at the top of the dog's head so I'm just gonna make a little sideways parentheses here and that's gonna be the size of my ear if you make it bigger your dog ear is gonna be bigger if you make your parentheses too small then your puppy's ear is gonna be really tiny you can see that my parentheses half of it is inside the dog's head and half of it is on the outside because it's going to overlap. So we'll have to erase this line, which is fine. You guys are third through sixth grade. You should be able to do this. And if you can't, we're definitely going to try together, okay? Now from here, we're gonna go down with a curved line, which looks like a giant parentheses. We're gonna go from here, and we're just gonna go down like this, okay? So again, we just made a curved line. Now we're going to curve back up a little, like this. So again, uh, like a tiny parentheses. <laughs> and then from here to here, we're going to connect the line. So I'm just going to go up and connect to that line. Okay. And if your puppy ear doesn't look like this one, that's fine. You can make your puppy ear look however you want. But basically the shape that we're making is bigger on the top and smaller on the bottom. And since this puppy ear is in front of the head, we have to erase the line on the inside. Now, it is disappointing that I am going to be coloring this puppy yellow, like a golden lab. So, a lot of my eraser marks are probably going to show up still because yellow is a really light color. But, that's okay. I want you guys to be able to see what I'm drawing, which means that I have to draw very dark. Now we're going to do the puppy ear on this side, and this one's actually not too bad because it's mostly covered. So from right around the top on this side, we're just going to make a bump like so. And then it's just going to go down and just go behind the puppy. It's going to go like this and just there, done. It's it's gone. It's gone. If you want to make it lower, that's fine. If you want to make it higher, that's fine. It's just the puppy ear that's getting hidden because it's on that side of the puppy's head. Now, like I told you, we're going to be drawing a tongue. So in the Roblox game, this um, puppy or dog has a tongue sticking out. So what we're going to do is from right over here, 
so this corner somewhere around here we're just gonna make what looks like a frowny face like that and now he looks sad but he's not <laughs> this is gonna be the top of the tongue so the part where the the lips are or the mouth and then we're gonna make a u shape coming out of his mouth so all we're gonna do is just make the u shape like that so the top looks like a frowny face and then the u-shape just looks like a u-shape and we have to erase the piece of the puppy's head that's behind the tongue because the tongue is coming out of the mouth and it's falling like to the side all right so so far our puppy looks pretty cute really wish i could erase this better but i can't and now we're going to make the puppy body so the shape that we're going to be using is an oval, but it's going to be partially covered by the head. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an oval coming out of here and it's going to be coming back up to here. So a small part of the oval is going to be covered by the head. So to do that, I'm going to pick a point over here, right here seems fine to me. And I'm just going to start, oops, I'm just going to start making an oval shape. I messed up up here, but I'll erase that later. And I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to come back up to the puppy's body. And you can see that a small part of the oval is covered by the puppy's head, like I said. If yours is not, and there is, you know, like if the puppy has the oval here, that's fine. Um, I wanted to do it this way because to me that's what it looks like in the game. Now we're going to do the puppy tail. So to do the puppy's tail, it's actually pretty small. We're going to be using the shape of a parenthesis or an arched line. And we're going to be making a little line like this. So it looks like a parenthesis or a frowny face or whatever. And then we're going to do the same line again going back to the body. So again, we're just doing this line like this. And mine is pretty small. If you want to make your tail a little bigger, you can. Just make the parentheses larger. Now let's work on the feet. So the feet in the Roblox game look like... I don't even know how to explain it. They're kind of like upside down U's with a line on the bottom. So we're going to do that. <laughs> I am going to make an upside down U. I'm gonna start with a foot right over here. It's not connected to the body. The puppy's kind of like floating above its feet. It's really weird. So I'm just gonna go like this. And there's my upside down U. You don't want it to be too small, but you don't want it to be humongous. You wanna be able to fit four of these. And now I'm gonna connect here to here with either a straight line or a slightly curved line. So I'm gonna make mine slightly curved so it looks kinda of 3D. And now I'm gonna make the next foot. This foot is gonna be a little bit lower. If you wanna make all of your feet in one straight line, you can, that's perfectly fine. I don't have a lot of space down here. Um, I left more space up here than I did over here. Oh well. But I'm going to make another U shape like this and you can see this one is a little higher than this one and now again my upside down U I'm gonna connect it oh I don't like that line I want to make it more curved there we go there we go now I'm gonna be making the back feet so these are the two front feet this is his paw that goes here and then here is the other one over here. But again, they're not connected because that's how the Roblox Adopt Me animals look. They all have feet that look like this. So now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go up a little because you can see that there's like the oval goes up a little. And I'm going to make a U shape again. And I'm going to close it off. Now that's one of his back legs. The other one is covered by his body, but what I can do is make the line on the bottom like this. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but this is his back foot. 
the one that's being covered by his body and then you can just make two lines going up so it looks like the puppy's foot was there but the body was covering it right now let's add some final details i'm going to add a little shine on the nose so when i color it black i can leave that shine white and then it'll look really shiny i'm also going to add a little crease in the tongue you don't have to do that if you don't want to and now i'm going to add a horizon line so we've talked about the horizon line before it is a line that separates the floor or the ground or the grass from the sky or whatever the background is so i'm going to add a line that goes from one side of the paper to the other side and when it hits the puppy it goes through it but you can't see because the puppy is in the foreground so i'm gonna let's see where do i want to put my line do i want to put it really high or really low let's let's start right here so i have these guiding lines to help me you don't have to use any specific lines your um horizon line can look really um wiggly or you can put hills or whatever i am going to start my line straight i think i like it straight and then it's going to go through the puppy we're not drawing we're going through the puppy and then we're going to come out and we can start drawing again like that my line is not perfect but that's okay with me let's make sure it looks kind of like it's slanted right maybe it should have gone to this line <laughs> i think so <laughs> let's see is that the line it should have gone to hmm I'm not sure. I don't like either one of those lines, but I like it better. So let's just leave it like that, right? There we go. So here is my puppy. And now we have to outline and color in our drawing. So let's get to that. scholars here is my finished drawing you can see that I use yellow for my dog because that's the color of the dog in the game but you can use any color that you want for your puppy I made the grass green so where the horizon line is I did the bottom half looking like grass and the top looking like the sky and to make my puppy look a lot like the one in the game I added these shines because the puppy looks shiny in the game so there's these little spots that I didn't color in and basically all I did was just leave like an oval shape white and not use any color on that one spot and it makes the color look 
more like it's shiny. All right, let's see what you guys were working on. 